Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, Lambert 22 here, and uh, I got a special surprise today. Uh, I got my two dogs here. I'm at home right now, so glad to be home. And uh, uh, just want to let you know, uh, I'm not going to talk too much tonight. I'm going to just show you a clip of a brewery that I uh, visited up in Stonington, uh, Connecticut. So the owner of the place, his name is Aaron Sima. Simoncini, Simoncini, Simoncini. I hope, I hope that's what it is. I don't want to butcher it, but it's a beer brewing company, and uh, I have his beer right here. I brought it down. I got it bottled. Uh, well, put it in the growler on Friday, and I've kept it since then. So let's see what how it looked. Still had some carbonation, so I'm hoping that this thing sit is good. Oh yeah, look at that. That's since Friday. It says on the on the bottle on the growler it actually says to drink it within 24 hours, but it kept the head pretty good and looks like I'm gonna have to be drinking it tonight. So man, that's good. It is really good. Uh, it's called the Anomaly, and uh, I'll show you the clip right now. We're looking for the the Beard Brewing Company. Oh, it's this way. Probably in their next building. No, it's in the Velvet Mill. That's what it said. I don't know where it is. I was just following directions. And you did a fine job, I want to tell you. Name 22. We're going for uh, a new brewing company up here in Connecticut. Stonington, Connecticut. Wish me luck. And my buddy's Whitey. Mm. <laughs> Looks like it's in here. So it looks like it is actually is in a, in a uh, an old mill. I see a beard. Look at that! They have a fire extinguisher lit up. We're here, and now we're going to go in. So this is the brewery. The brewery is right down there, and then here is the uh, here's the growlers. It's just a growler fill. Uh, we get tasters, and we've already set set up the beers that they have right now. Is the the Whisker Wit, a robust porter, and Anomaly. It's a black IPA. So they're pretty good. We went down to the old city and went around walked up and down St. George's Street. Mm -hmm. I, I know. know. But the paper, the paper helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Baxter Brewing Company. Besides, hey everybody, this is Aaron. How are and you? He's the owner. And uh, you're, he's gonna give us a quick tour. So what we do is we get about uh, five batches worth of grain in on a pallet every time from the Country Malt Group out of upstate New York. They also supply our Hop Union hops, so whatever varietals we want to get through them, uh, as well as other adjuncts like uh, flaked oats. Um, we have some dextrose over there to boost the alcohol on our. Uh, triple that we brewed as well as our double IPA, our Russian right. stout right. that's about to come out. Makes it easier to work with a small mash ton. Um, we just mill with our homebrew mill at the moment. That's how you bootstrap everybody. 
So I have one of these at home. It takes about an hour. <laughs> it takes about an hour to run an entire batch through, and on average, we're running about 220 pounds through. It. So oh wow! We're definitely dealing in malt sacks instead of the little right. pre-packaged, pre-crushed. Uh, all of our spent grain, once we're done with it, goes to a local farmer. They feed their cows, chickens, pigs. Yeah, uh, and that's one of our, our one too. of our local breweries that they do the same thing. Exactly. They come. They they love the stuff. It's it's the way to go. So just watch your step. This is a brew house. Um, it's a little bit of a disarray right now because I was here working late last night. But uh, this is where all the magic happens. We've got our three barrel mash tun. Uh, yep. It's about 145 gallon uh, spill. So we, uh, you know, mash in, like I said, about 220 pounds. Uh, depending on where we're at, we'll end up a little higher. We've got our custom made false bottom down there. That's, That's awesome. actually uh, a Jaybird, if you're familiar. Jay Bird out of California. Okay, yeah. He, he does those. Um, we're using the March AC 5B 130 pump, which is the March Nano pump. It's a step up from uh, you know the home brewing 808s or 809s. Right. So it seems to do the trick. Uh, pushes pushes faster than our plate chillers actually run. And then we've got a uh, the rims. Yep, we we run the rims tube, and that is a brumation panel. Uh, that's my pride and joy because everything here is electrically fired. All our strike water, sparge water water comes from a awesome. commercial tankless water heater upstairs I can strike it I can spray 185 degree water right and I have the dial right here so I can dial it in right where I need it for what I'm doing it works very well instead of heating water you want to do it go for it <laughs> um, we've got our oil kettle here this is scout tanks and kettles out okay. of uh, Portland Oregon three barrel again we've got our sight glass it's all electric and fired we've got our tangential inlet um, so there's four stainless steel he heating elements inside there that uh, run the show. And we can dial up and down on this potentiometer here. Okay. Which makes it very nice to get that rolling boil really quickly and then yeah. dial it down so you don't end up there, with a boil over. There's a lot of the home brewers that are doing the electric brewery. It's, it's totally the way yeah. to do it. As long as you do it safely, <laughs> right. then you don't have yeah, to worry about flue exhausts either. Yep. I mean, it was easy to get through planning and zoning as well as the building official without having to have a makeup air hood. Yeah. Yeah, so all we do is exhaust through. I uh, got the dog leg in there so that we get all the condensate out okay. instead of running back oh, down. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, three stage, three stage filtration. So two pleated filters and one carbon block. Uh, it seems to do the trick. You can run a lot of water through there real quick and strip out all the uh, all the nasties as well as the chlorines. Right, right. Because, uh, does the job, and uh, that's the brew house. We're just awesome. using our our beefy plate chiller over here to uh, Dang, to run. That, that thing is yeah. monster. She, he, it's huge. <laughs> um, it still takes about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to run off and chill a batch to 70 degrees. So. It's still not quick, but right. it's as quick as we can do right now. Uh, pick that up through Duda Diesel online. They do a good job. Uh, just our workstation, basically assorted chemicals, uh, our food grade acids, everything we need to uh, do what we got to do here. And then awesome. step on up here. So 11 pound boxes again right. going through Hop Union. Uh, fermentation is here we go. Controlled room. Uh, we've got our food grade polythylene conicals. Uh, San Diego tanks actually gave us a fat deal on four of them. That's awesome. And yeah, so we were able to drill them out, get our food grade fittings on and everything, and they do the trick. You just gotta be really careful to strip them down every time so that you can thoroughly clean it. Right, uh, right, right. You know, we're not in there just be careful. Yep. a spray ball to do the job, but it is what it is. Awesome. You gotta make sure you get it nice and clean. And then last but not least, storage got our nice bright tank in there Three <laughs> that's okay Again, out tanks and kettles i'm able to uh get a batch of beer up and carbonated in two days instead of that's the awesome. normal week the requisite week that it takes <laughs> so that's where we're filling all our growlers under counter pressure and that's basically it and like you said this is uh, uh a part-time this is your second yeah, full-time job full -time. <laughs> exactly. that's awesome lots of nights and weekends yeah Thanks, Aaron. Absolutely. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Sure. No 
which one are you pouring now? I'm pouring the robust porter. Okay. And that one is a new growler, right? Yes, you can. Now, one more, and I'll display all of them to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, Whitey, which one did you get? I got the uh, anomaly. The anomaly? That's the, the black, black IPA. IPA. Oh, shit. Tastes a lot like arrogant bastard. My favorite flavor. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, that clip. Uh, had a good time there. Uh, one thing that the place does, it only does growler fills and I believe they, it's only 64 ounce growlers. Uh, I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna have the website posted uh, down below in the comments and I'm gonna have, uh, uh, well, there you can find out what the hours are and everything, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't sell any pints. It's just a growler fill station and uh, pretty much that's what he does. So uh, uh, another thing, it's not out in the public, so the only place you can get is beer right now is there and I think there's a local pizza joint up there that you can get his beer uh, not much else going on homebrew Wednesday wise uh, I'm supposed to be brewing I'm gonna brew homebrew Wednesday so that's gonna be happening uh, weather is phenomenal right now I'm so glad to be home I know the whole East Coast is getting some really killer weather right now but uh, tomorrow or Wednesday is supposed to be really nice I'm, I'm recording this uh, Tuesday because I've got so much stuff going on tomorrow and I want to make sure that the beer was fresh enough and it looks like it was excellent and kept. I just, I tightened down the cap a little bit more, uh, kept kept carbonation, excellent. Uh, good job, Aaron, uh, it's, it's awesome beer. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, also doing a couple clips on my, uh, my Limeade later on in the week. Uh, just a, an update on that. I'm probably going to be bottling that. Bottling or putting in uh, juice jars or a little keg and everything. Uh, so, so I got that going on and, uh, and then I've got some shout outs I'm going to do a little bit later. I don't like to include it in, uh, my, I don't like to keep my videos long. I just, I like to keep them right around 10 minutes, somewhere like that. But, uh, this one's going to be over. I know it is. So, uh, also a big update, uh, made it a half a year, 26 homebrew Wednesdays. I, I tell you what, when SJ poor got me into this, uh, I thought I'd be, I'd be doing like two, three, and I give up. I like talking. I don't, I'm not really comfortable in front of the camera, but uh, I like uh, giving updates on what I'm doing, uh, what every, or what I think, what I see or what everyone else is doing. It's, it's awesome. Uh, got a great group of uh, guys that follow me. I follow them. It's awesome. So uh, that's about it for Homebrew Wednesday this week. So uh, we'll see what's going to go on next week. Uh, I'm going to be posting my, uh, my brew day, which I got a double, I got a double stout that I'm doing tomorrow. I think I'm going to be splitting the batch. I'm probably going to do a chocolate and a coffee. So I got that for my St. Patty's Day. So I got stuff to keep me busy. So happy Humbra Wednesday, number 26 for me. And uh, I will see you guys next week. And I will see you guys in your videos this week. See you guys. Peace.